Welcome back to American Latino TV. I'm Natasha Martinez, and I don't know about you, but I think it's always cool to see women out there who are willing to take on jobs that are physically challenging, rough stuff most people regard as dangerous. Well, up next we have one of those women. Brenda Lorena Garcia is short in stature. She's barely five feet tall, but she is huge in heart and spirit, and she's one of the most daring people you'll ever meet. You see, Brenda is a stunt woman, and when someone needs a small person to do a stunt as a stand-in for a petite actress or child performer, the name they often call belongs to this demure Salvadorian badass. Check it out, it's a story you'll find only here on American Latino TV. American Latino Athletes, presented by McDonald's. My name is Brenda Lorena Garcia. I am a professional stunt woman and actress, and I am from Los Angeles, born and raised. My family is from El Salvador. There are now a good amount of women that are involved in this line of work. Back in the day, like in the 80s and before, even in the 90s, there wasn't as many. However, um, uh, it has opened up more for women and the opportunities have opened and I, I was one of those women who was privileged to be in this line of work. And I would tell anybody who wants to do this that go follow your dreams, especially those young girls, they can do whatever they want. I would say the type of training necessary for stunt people, especially a stunt woman, just all around, just be a well-rounded athlete. There's, there's no school that I know of where there's a certification or a license or anything, so to speak. Uh, however, there are training places that we go to train and um, stunt schools, they might call it, um, gyms that are open to, to all people, but a lot of stunt people go to certain places where they train martial arts, stunt fighting, fight choreography, wire work, gymnastics, etc. I've done stunt work for a number of celebrities. I've done a lot of TV work, a lot of movie work, commercials. Um, some of the bigger stars are like, for example, Mimi Kirkland. She was the star, one of the stars in Safe Haven. Um, Aiden Gallagher from Nicky Ricky, Dicky and Dawn, Nickelodeon show. Um, the Thundermans, Addison Ricky. Um, a lot of them, a lot to name. Um, Let's see. I think I think those are the main ones. David Mazus. He's also from um, from the show Touch. I've also doubled for him as well. Something that might scare me would be, for example, if uh, we were working in the ocean or something. For example, I've done something similar to this already. And there's wildlife in there. You can have no control over it. So. If it's like a jellyfish or a shark, most likely they're probably not gonna do anything, so I'm not really afraid of that, but it's something that does come up in the back of my head, something I think about. My family is awesome. <laughs> they love what I do, they absolutely support it. Sometimes when a stunt comes up, I don't tell my mom what I'm gonna do. <laughs> as I feel like she might get worried too much, so I just, I don't tell her till after the fact. But for the most part, they know that I trust myself and that so long as I continue to trust in myself and the people who are around me, I trust them as well. All should be good, you know. I have faith in God that I'll be protected for the most part and safe. 